Okay, boom, viewers, welcome back to the channel. Subscribers, you already know the thing set. We're blessed. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. But just a few trending topics, Mr. Opening a dance all that we need to discuss. Not in any particular order, so just watch at the end of the video so you don't miss a thing. <laughs> and with that being said, we want to kick it off with Dance Hall Princess Town International Pop Star Queen Shen Seo. As you see, I was sent um, some pictures um, that seemingly look like Shen Seo in her birthday suit. You see me saying, we know when we're talking about birthday suit, you know what we're talking about, you see me. Um, you know, with technology nowadays, um, you know, the Photoshop things them is, is, is top notch. You see me say, um, from what I seen um, from the pictures, you know, the arm with the tattoo um, kind of looks the same. You see me say, you know, I was looking out for the trademark, you know, cross tattoo between, you know, her, you know, cleavage and all of them things there. Um, but I couldn't really see it the way all the picture was sent. You feel me? Um, you know, I don't know if there was a screen that was brightening up her face or whatnot. Um, but what was also noticeable, you know, I think she had like a birthmark on her, you know, body cheek, you see me, I said, it didn't look like a tattoo to me, you see me, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I never really see Shen see her skin out and, uh, you know, you know, you know, showing her, you know, crack, <laughs> per se, you see me, I said, so I mean, I really know. If it's her or not, the face definitely looks like her, but the body, you know, the way how the angles of the pictures were sent, I really couldn't tell. If you know what I mean? Or you know, people that put people face upon people body and all of them things trying to make people look away and all of these stuff. You see, man, sir. Um, but if you get this video up to a thousand views, we'll definitely drop it on Twitter, you feel me? Um, as you can see. The sender didn't want to reveal where they um, got the pictures from. Because, you know, we like to confirm things. You know, I would like to know who leaked um, these pictures. Because it definitely looks like her to me, but I could be wrong. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not sure if it's on Twitter, any social media platforms or whatnot, or any groups circulating. But that's a letting them know what I'm going for not on. You see me putting on the comment section. We're going to think about that. On a good note, as you can see, you know, Shensei's tour. Um, it's sold out, you know, so homegirl doing her thing still, you know what I mean? And if it's her, I'm pretty sure it's not a big deal, you see, man. Because, like, you know, the Dali, they must sing about all type of things. And they an interview, I talk about all type of things. <laughs> but anyway, let's proceed to the next. Okay, people, this one kind of old, but it's still relevant because we see a cartel forward from jail, but we're not seeing none of the group of them. I real up for him. He said, I say, I'm a one for know why them respect say them more than Shati because when Shati and Cartel was a thing, you know, every woman out there said wanted to be a concubine. Put in the comment section where you think about that. Now, as you can see, Dance Our Queen Danger did say Spice was basically cock blocking. You know what I mean? She never wants to send on the link to the world, Lord. I mean, world boss. <laughs> So she cannot get the Gaza thing, you see, me? I say, in fact, you know, people were saying Spice was looking out for her, you know, because Danger claims that, uh, you know, Spice said, uh, you know, cartel ever, you know, catch her whole doing business, you see me? Um, but as you can see, cartel come from jail and we not see, you know, she a real up for him because now she not need Spice to introduce herself to him, you see, me? I say, my people putting out a comment section where you think about that. But like I said, one thing we noticed ever since, you know, see them coming in a cartel life and in their road, no Freedom Street, me not see none of the group of them a past them place. You see me, I say, I'm a one know when, you know, the respect started because, you know, look how long shot they in another picture. And, <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, we see enough woman in another picture uh, when he was locked up, you feel what I mean? Yeah, put in the comment section when you think about that. Okay, people, the next trend and topic I see out there have a video with our very own Jamaican VP. Well, American Jamaican VP, Miss Harris, is in my answer. Um, you already know my position on politics in Jamaica and <laughs> America. Me bond that, you see my answer. Uh, so, you know, I'm not endorsing no candidates, but at the same time, see a lot of my black skinned people. Um, how should I say this? I see them being used and abused. You see, me, I say, and these are the tactics that some of the Jamaicans 
um, of other ethnic backgrounds are using um, to undermine us. You see what I said? So let's take a listen to Dr. Umar Johnson and then we'll proceed. Where my Durban South Africa Africans at? Where my Durban, they'll tell you about how East Indians feel about black people. Go to India and talk to the, the uh, so-called untouchables of East India and how they get treated by East Indians. They can't stand blacks. This is Kamala Harris. She's a South Asian. Her parents claim black just so they can get the civil rights benefits to help themselves get better. This is how Caribbean East Indians operate. They claim black to get the benefits. Kamala Harris's parents claim she was black so they can get the affirmative action benefits so they could get the housing benefits. They only claimed black so they could benefit from our provisions. She wasn't raised as a black girl. If she was raised as a black girl, I'm going to say it again. Her parents claimed black on paperwork so they could get the affirmative action set asides. That's why she went to Howard University. That's why she went to Howard University to get the grants and the scholarships and the federal aid and to get the set asides. They wasn't black. They only claim that on paper to get your benefits. And since you got black men running around saying she's the same color as us, as if you don't have brown Asians and brown Arabs and brown Vietnamese. Since you got stupid black people running around saying she looks just like my aunt, we the same complexion. I can show you brown Vietnamese. I can show you brown Arabs. They don't belong to the African race, you idiots. You idiots. Her father is a Jamaican East Indian, not a Jamaican African. Her father is a Jamaican East Indian, not a Jamaican African. You idiots. You idiots. But now, since black people said East Indians can now be black. Since you Negroes have said East Indians can be black. You just invited them to the migrant party at your expense because you said East Indians can be black. You have just invited them to the migrant party at your expense. You have just invited the East Indians to feast on black people's resources, to feast on black people's communities. There's going to be a brown takeover of black people, Spanish speaking Browns, East Indian speaking Browns, and we invited them in people of color people of color that's all we talk about people of color people of color well guess what the POCs you think the LGBTs took over your resources wait until the POCs get their hands on your resources you thought the LGBTs took over your resources under Obama wait until the POCs take over your resources under Kamala Harris The brown takeover of black. They are not us. They are not us. They are not us. Y'all keep asking me who to vote for. I don't endorse candidates. And me personally, I don't have a reason to vote for either of them. If you need to vote because it's an because you feel it is you owe it to your ancestors, I don't have a problem with that. Go vote for Fannie Lou Hamer. You need somebody to vote for? Go vote for Fannie Lou Hamer. She the reason your ass can vote anyway. Go vote for Fannie Lou Hamer. And why they kept bringing up Fannie Lou Hamer at the Democratic National Convention? Why they kept bringing up Fannie Lou Hamer at the Democratic National Convention? Why they kept bringing up Fannie Lou Hamer at the, you know why? Because they heard Dr. Umar bigging up. I'm the only person who been pushing Fannie.
Hamer for the past 15 years. I'm the one who said Fannie Lou Hamer got the voting right. I'm the one who took our queen mother ancestor warrior Fannie Lou Hamer and raised her up. They wasn't talking about no Fannie Lou Hamer. And now at the DNC, Fannie Lou Hamer this and Fannie Lou Hamer that. Fannie Lou Hamer fought for black people, not people of color. Fannie Lou Hamer fought for black people, not people of color. Fannie Lou Hamer fought for black people, not people of color. Fannie Lou Hamer fought for black people, not POCs. Not POCs. She didn't fight for POCs, people of color. She fought for Africans. She fought for Africans. And what they not telling you is the Democratic Party tried to sabotage Fannie Lou Hamer and the Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party. They don't tell you that. Fannie Lou Hamer's enemy was the Democratic Party. Fannie Lou Hamer's enemy was the Democratic Party. Fannie Lou Hamer's enemy was the Democratic Party. I want a television debate. I want a television debate with Steve Harvey, D.L. Hughley, Ricky Smiley versus Dr. Umar Ifatunde is the Democratic Party the party of African people? Roland Martin can join in too. If they want Roland, they can bring Roland too. I want D.L. Hughley, Steve Harvey, and Ricky Smiley in a debate. Is the Democratic Party the party of the American African? Somebody get Steve Harvey on the phone. Somebody get D.L. Hughley on the phone. Somebody get Ricky Smiley. Dr. Umar wants to come on y'all show and debate you three on one. And if y'all need Roland to help you out, Roland can come too. We can make it four on one. Steve Harvey said that the Omega Psi Five brothers run the radio. It will be about both parties, but who's pushing Trump? I'm not pushing Trump, and they not pushing Trump, so we don't need to have a conversation about Trump, but we could bring it up if you like. They not pushing Trump, and I'm not pushing Trump, but we can include Trump if you want. The problem with y'all Negroes is y'all believe y'all have to belong to a plantation at all. Let me say it again. The problem with y'all Negroes is y'all believe y'all need to belong to a plantation at all. Y'all don't want to get off of a plantation. Y'all need a plantation, whether it's the Republican Party plantation, Democratic Party plantation, Green Party plantation. Y'all need a plantation. That's the problem with black folks. You need to belong. Who should I vote? For? Stop begging me for the right to belong to a plantation. I'm a runaway African. I represent, where my runaway Africans at? We running away with our vote. We not stand on no damn plantation. I'm, I, I represent the runaway slave party. <laughs> I represent the runaway enslaved African vote. I represent, we didn't ran off the Democratic Party plantation and we ain't coming back. We didn't ran off the Republican Party plantation. We didn't, we ain't coming back. If you do your history, if you do your history, the corporation is a plantation. All of us work, right? You work at a job. You work for a corporation. The corporation is the 21st century plantation. The NBA is a plantation. NFL is plantation. Hip hop is plantation. Hollywood is plantation. Media is plantation. We still on the plantation. The corporation is the new plantation, my ninja. The corporation is the new plantation. And guess what the new slave chain is? Guess what the new shackle is? The new shackle is your paycheck. The new plantation is the corporation and the new shackle is your paycheck. The new plantation is the corporation and the new shackle is your paycheck talk black to me one time africans i'm a runaway slave remember we ran off the republican party plantation we ran off the republican pl party plantation around 1930s it's almost 2030 it's almost 2030 so if black people could give up the Republican Party plantation back in the 1930s, why can't we give up the Democratic Party plantation in the 2020s? Who with me? I want to lead a great exodus out of the Democratic Party. 
we will no longer be exploited. We will no longer be taken advantage. Cream of wheat, this is your land, but that is not a school. That is not a hospital. That is not a supermarket. That is not a bank. That is not a distribution network. That is not a system. That is not a solution. So when you niggas jump on here talking about this is our land. Okay, the Native Americans said that too. That's not a program. That's a slogan. This is our land. That's not a solution. I'm a pretendian. That's not a solution. That's a slogan. We looking for solutions here. Remember, this is a life for deep thinking Africans. Let me get back to Kabamala. And again, this is why I told them to don't really focus on her being the first black Indian this and that. You know what I mean? Just focus on the woman aspect because if you read, you know, her father, Donald J. Harris autobiography, you know, autobiography is written by said individual he explains that you know they come from caucasians and barely any africans in them them bloodline before him <laughs> and you know his grandfather was an irish um you know slave owner who named his plantation brownstone that we know today in jamaica he said so that's why i never want to focus upon that but wanting to focus how these other groups deal with us um when it comes to getting certain benefits. Because I'm going to ask another question again. Aren't you tired of marching? Look how long Martin Luther King Jr. left us. You feel what I mean? And we not see nobody else and march with we said we. You know what I mean? These people join our movement to get, you know, the benefits. And then when them get, you know, to the top, them not look back upon we. You know what I mean? And this is why picking the lesser of the two poison sets us back a hundred years. <laughs> you see me? Because why would you do that to your system? Anyway, people, when I go long and listen long enough, forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I drop the latest. Bless.